Students, you can't be so <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Oh yeah. Stupefied. That's not stupefied. That shit will read. I see you. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Okay. Dead. You almost got my ass too, though. Intramuros. Who be out here doing shit? <laughs> Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But what it do? It's your boy KJ, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Let's get straight into this joint. All right. So the special treat is this video is now in HDR, and moving forward, I'm gonna try to do all my recordings, whether they're from PC gaming or console doesn't it's matter to i'm gonna do you, my friend. hdr and if you're watching this the day it was released it's probably not there yet it does take some time for youtube to process the hdr quality be patient it'll be there all right it took us all night to get here <laughs> see what she it wants. is good to see you my friend hello natty how are you i am well thank you I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. Oh, yeah? I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? Mm. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. It's nosy. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What you just don't tell earth? everybody? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. Mm -hmm. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Hollow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Hollow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. Mm. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Damn right. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. Yeah. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Thanks, I guess. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? They must have come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Oh, yeah. Stupefied. That's not stupefied. That shit will read. I see you. Dead. <laughs> Yo. 
I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Okay. Get over here, you insolent! We cut them off, Productor! I'm not going anywhere. You'll take this student on the fight! Body! Levioso! That's just beautiful! <laughs> Dead. You don't got my ass too, though. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Thought I got that one hit kill joint turned on. That probably would have took some time. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. You yep. care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me? Definitely to not to using you? cheap Ashwinders. Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Ooh. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. She looks like a turtle. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures. These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. Mm. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk... Take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here. Well, there's a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. On the what? Oh, the swirl. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio! Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? 
I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Well, she got gone pretty quick, huh? Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Feek. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black. Why? Because he's black? All right. Uh, no, man, go into fucking Hogwarts. God, I hate this fucking map. Scrope. Who is Scrope? Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Accio! just the place that took entirely way too long for me to decipher what's up with those balloons over there incendium Pumpkin. What's up, homie? Revelio. Down to the water's edge. Hmm. This had better not be a trick. <clears throat> Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Right. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Happy to help, especially if you can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, May she rest in peace, uh, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. 
I'm sorry to hear yeah. that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope right. believes that a treasured Black Family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. Mm hmm. It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast and place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages and the ring. Uh, thanks. Look at that beautiful sunrise. Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say I sold the ring a long time ago. Wow. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. Uh, may I have them? I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map. To what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happens next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest and I'll show you where to find the pages? Um. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Why do only certain people become ghosts? Like, why isn't Dumbledore a ghost? Hmm. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black Family ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves.
Now I have to go to the forbidden forest. Perhaps I'll come back to this. Quest. The champion coming through. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Big match today. It all ready for a shot at glory. Absolutely. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Yes, sir. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize. And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you. It's been an honor. You I appreciate it. it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. <laughs> Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Mm -hmm. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. I'm fine, thanks. Okay. 
And of course, we're here. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Right. Shall we? We shall. Dick. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out. The waterfall for a thief, Jackdaw, surprisingly, as good as his word. <laughs> Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Mm. Intramuros. We'll be out here doing shit. Far from home. Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But
we'll report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora has led me. Wait. I wonder how big this place is. It's a dope cave. I think we'll do this next time. But we got pretty far, These guys. These rooms must have something to do with opening this door. You think? All right, we're going to end it right here, y'all. I appreciate everybody watching, and I will see y'all next time. Later.